Special thanks to Patreon supporter The Grand Pope for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here, bringing you another Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building HMS Nemesis. Nemesis was the first British ocean-going iron warship. She was the largest of a class of six similar vessels ordered by the Secret Committee of the East India Company. Nemesis, together with her sister ships Pathagon, Pluto, Prospine, Aradine, and Medusa, was built by John Laird's yard at Birkenhead and William Fairburn and Sons at Millwall. Launched in 1839, the Nemesis was deployed to China, arriving late 1840, and used to great effect in the First Opium War by the Captain William Hutchison Hale, and later in 1842 by Captain Richard Collinson. The Chinese referred to her as the Devil Ship. Um, overall, pretty interesting uh, little ship here. It's uh, kind of a continuation, I guess, of our sailing vessel ships, and really the only other ship we have is the USS Independence. But uh, this here is a pretty cool uh, little ship to add in if you're looking for some of those, um, you know, kind of mid um, 1800s type of vessels where they were starting to incorporate steam powered and uh, paddles and all that kind of stuff as well as sails. So it's a cool ship. I uh, really do like the way it came out and should make a fun little addition for a kind of fun build to uh, add into your world. It's pretty small, simple, and uh, would just be kind of a definitely an eye catcher in your bathtub build fleet. Before we go ahead and jump in and take a look at this build, I do want to go ahead and give special thanks to Patreon supporter The Grand Pope for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video description where you can go ahead and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a vehicle request you're choosing. It really helps support the work I do on my channel. It's really greatly appreciated, so definitely feel free to check that out. Link for that is always in my video descriptions. With that though, let's go ahead and dive in here to take a look at HMS Nemesis. So going ahead and getting started with here, we have um, HMS Nemesis. It's a really small ship. Um, it's just a frigate, so obviously very small in size, but it has a paddle um, on both sides, which is pretty pretty interesting to give it a little bit more uh, power, and it also does have sails, so it has kind of a mixed bag of um, propulsion techniques here, which was very common in the mid-1800s where they were trying, where they were starting to develop uh, the steam engine and all that stuff, which was, um, you know, combined with sails to kind of create a pretty efficient efficient and long range or long endurance type ship. As I mentioned too, this is like the first ocean going iron warship for the British as well. So that's kind of a cool little uh, little thing and uh, about a little fun fact. So uh, pretty interesting, but pretty small. We do have the sails kind of lowered in like how they would be um, in kind of like a, you know, transit uh, type mode, I guess you can say. Uh, obviously the front sails, rear sails, and obviously you have your paddles here, your deck, the little smokestack there for the, or the funnel for the steam engine, and overall just a pretty cool ship, and should make a cool addition to your bathtub build worlds. It's just something unique and something different for sure. And we so with that, let's go ahead and move into our tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving into our first layer here, we will be starting off with layer one. One quick thing I do want to mention for the ship is if you do want to build this in the water, you will want to make sure that layer one here, so this brick top side, which is going to be the draft here of the ship, is basically at the water level. You can see here we have the blue concrete representing that top water level and you can see the brick top slab is just going to stay right there um, level with that top surface. So just keep that in mind as you go ahead and build this. Um, very important to make sure that is positioned correctly because um, obviously you want your ship to sit properly in the water. Anyways, as I mentioned, we have a brick top slab. We're going to go ahead and go back from this one, two, and three more. So a total of four. On the both sides of the fourth one, we're going to go ahead and place down a acacia wood trap door. And then going back further from that brick top slab, we're going to go ahead and build an additional one, two, three, and four back, as well as a acacia wood uh, trapdoor, just like that on the very back. And after we have that all done right there, that is going to complete everything we have there for layer one of the build. Here's a look at it from the top down view. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, moving into our second layer, we're going to start off by placing down a black concrete block on top of this brick top slab here, followed by a polished black stone up sound stair going forward to, from it. We're going to also place down wither skeleton skull on both sides of that stair, like that. And then we're going to then place down a black stained glass pane to both sides of this black concrete block. Going back from the black concrete block, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six stripped birch wood blocks. I recommend using the stripped birch wood because it looks um, better, I think, at the scale compared to the actual planks. Then we're going to place down two polished black stone walls to both ends, going back from those black stained glass panes. 
which will be filled with a white concrete block on both ends. Come off the side of the white concrete block, we're going to place down an item frame and then an iron bar in the item frame. Same thing over here for will be our paddle wheel. And if you want to go ahead and add a little bit more detail for Java players, you can place down a polished blackstone button on the side of that block as well. Just a little side note is that Java is the only uh, version that does allow the addition of item frames and buttons in the same block space. So if you are on um, Pocket Edition or uh, Bedrock, you'll not be able to do this feature. So just disregard the button and just place down the item frame. Go ahead and go back from the, the um, white concrete, we're going to place down three polished black stone walls. And then going back from the stripped birch wood, we're going to place down two black concrete blocks. Followed by two black stained glass panes to both sides. After that is all done right there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have here for layer two. Here is a aerial view of what it looks like from the top down view. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into um, our, probably just our last final layers. We'll just probably just go ahead and finish off the rest of the build. So with that, let's move into our last final layers. So going ahead and moving into our final layers, we have layers three for seven. To start with, we're gonna place down a lever here on top of this upside down stair, and we're gonna go ahead and place down two end rods going forward from it like that. After that is complete, we're going to go ahead and place down a flower pot on the top of this black concrete block. And then we're going to place down two spruce wood fence posts going up from the birch wood um, block there. We're going to go ahead and place down two end rods going up like so. And we want to go ahead and then place down an iron bar that is going to be on the very top here. On the side of the uh, fence post, kind of depends on what version you're on. So if you are on a version such as... Uh, basically bedrock or pocket edition, I would recommend probably going ahead and grabbing uh, some spruce wood fence gates and using spruce wood fence gates here so we can add our sails. So I'd recommend doing something like this and you're going to place down three. So you're going to go ahead and do something like that. And that's going to be again for my uh, console players or uh, bedrock or pocket edition. That's what I would recommend doing. If you are on Java, I'd recommend going ahead and placing down three end rods. And we're going to go ahead and use some commands and some uh, tools here to kind of go ahead and actually shift the properties or to kind of uh, move our end rods. Uh, actually, for both, for all versions, I would recommend the very top two here. You do leave as just end rods. So the very top will be end rods. So this is what you'll do for console versions, uh, Bedrock and Pocket Edition. And this is what you'll do here for Java players. So for me, I am in Java, so I'm just going to go ahead and replicate the same thing here to both sides. Um, so it looks like that for me. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves diorite walls. And we're going to go ahead and go off this fence post here. We're going to place down one, two, three diorite walls forward, and then one, two here on top. We'll go ahead and then grab barrier blocks or structure blocks. And we're going to place down a barrier block here, here, here. And then we're going to place down two right here. After we have that done, we want to go ahead and place down buttons on the sides of this bottom one. So both sides here, and then the side of this top one. It's going to be on the right side and the right side only. We're going to go ahead and follow the right side down with buttons all the way along those barrier blocks like that to create our rigging. And then over here on this side, we're going to go ahead and grab our white banners. And we're going to place down a white banner here, here, here. And then we want to go ahead and also place down white banners on these walls like that. So you have your front sails or triangle sails there in the front. Now, when it comes to your version here, um, if you have the fence gates, you'll just be able to place down your white banners just coming off those fence gates and they'll be sitting here. Now, for me, I am an on, I'm on Java, so I'm going to be going ahead and using a tool called the Debug Stick. And what this tool will allow me to do is it will allow me to actually modify the properties and actually rotate these banners around to connect them up to the end rods. So I'm going to place down two blocks here to the side and I'm going to place down our two white banners. I'm going to go ahead and then type in the command slash give hat p minecraft colon debug underscore stick and by pressing enter for this command i will get this glowing stick now what i'm going to use here for this stick is i'm going to left click the banners i'm going to go ahead and get the prompt selected facing east maybe a different direction for you depending on the orientation of your ship and we're going to then right click this and rotate this around until it comes off of the end rods and we're going to go ahead and basically do the same thing over here on this side and again if you have the fence gates you'll be able just to place down these two banners no problem so again, we have that technique there, so you have your front sails complete. Now with that all done, we then want to go ahead and place down a row of end rods that's going to go down the center here. So one, two. Again, I would recommend using fence gates. So substitute again to use the two fence gates and have these open toward the right side. Uh, for me, again, I'm going to use the end rods. And I'm going to go ahead and use the same technique as I did before with our, with our uh, debug stick here. And I'm going to go ahead and connect those to those end rods like so. Then underneath here, I'm going to place down a row two of barrier blocks, and I'm also going to place down white banners here to the side of those, the right side of those barrier blocks. 
Now in the center of the ship on the deck we do have a little bit of detailing to do real quick and that is going to be a redstone repeater with the notches spread apart like so and then we're going to go ahead and place down two brown buttons here down the center. We're going to go ahead and also place down a quartz slab on top of these two concrete blocks as well as a skeleton skull on top of the walls in front of those slabs and then lastly a white carpet on top of these walls right here. With that all done, we're going to go ahead and then grab some narrow brick fence posts. We're going to place down two fence posts up like that for our uh, funnel. And then we're going to go ahead and then place down two spruce wood fence posts up here. We're going to go ahead and place down two end rods up on top. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a end rod to both sides of this second one. And then on the very top here, like we did before, we're going to place down a iron bar. Now we then want to go ahead and grab our barrier blocks and our buttons again. And for our rigging, we're going to go ahead and place down two barrier blocks coming off that end rod. And we're going to place down stone buttons here on the right side of those barrier blocks and right side only. Then for the cabling going here, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three barrier blocks down the center there. And then one coming off this end rod up here. We're going to place down buttons on both sides of this barrier block here. On the top of these two. And then on both sides of this forward one. So that's going to complete the rigging there. Then um, after we have that done, go ahead and go into the back here. We're going to go ahead and grab our end rods. And we're going to go ahead and place down two end rods coming off this end rod here. And using the same technique as before, we're going to go ahead and do our white banners. Like that. And then again, we're going to go ahead and use our barrier blocks underneath here. Again, you can use the fence case as a substitute for the top up there. And then for our deck, uh, pretty simple stuff here. We're going to go ahead and place down a redstone repeater like this with a notch spread apart. A daylight detector. And then a iron trap door on top of these two walls to both sides of that spruce wood fence post like that. And once you have that all done right there, that is going to complete my design here for layers 3 and 7. And that's going to complete the design overall for HMS Nemesis. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do use this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This could be a thing from Asana the Build to my channel or this video. If this does appreciate social media sites, as long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use it for projects you guys are working on. Again, a special links to the Patreon supporter. Uh, the Grand Pope for making this tutorial possible and as always feel free to check out my patreon page link is always in my video descriptions With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe. This has been Garrett 204 and I'll see you guys next time